Today we're going to do a hike to iconic Rabbit Ears Pass. So you travel up the old Rabbit Ears Pass road and you see this giant stone commemorating the road being passed through in 1919. Right behind this rock there's plenty of parking. Find a great spot and start hiking up the road. This is the signpost that indicates 291, barely, but that is the way we want to go. So 291 goes right here, and that's where we're heading. This road is about three miles long. The last part is the roughest and the steepest. If I remember correctly, this is the last meadow with wildflowers that you get to see the ears separated like they are until the last quarter mile steep climb. This little area on the right is called Little Snowbird and to the left is Little Alta. All right, just about at the summit, but we get the really neat view of the highway straight on shot right down there and we're getting into some of the red rock that the rabbit ears are made out of actually and crumbling on. This is uh, one of the first views you can get of the actual ears. This is a much better view of the ears. Still not a full separation there, but you can see the top piece that's been falling apart. I've been coming up here 35 years. But I've never seen it with that little bitty knob on the left side. Pretty impressive view though from up here. The Never Summer Range, Rocky Mountain National Park, down towards Kremlin. Over there, Summit County, got a little bit of fire haze. can't see the separation of the ears because they're right in line right there. Another nice view here of the trail at the base of the ears, Dumont Lake Valley. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us.